Okay, so now we're going to start unit two and we are going to be talking about data. So the first thing I want you to think about about data is I want you to think about how is stuff stored on a computer? You know when you download a file from the internet or when you install a program, it takes up more space on your computer and you know when you have too much that um, my phone yells at me a lot when I store too much things on it and says, free up some space. But have you ever really thought about how stuff is stored on the computer? So how that app or how that program or how that picture or video or song is stored? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this unit. So if we start, we're gonna start um, with one of my favorites, which is photos. Because I remember when I first learned about how photos were stored in a computer and it was uh, sort of interesting to me. We're gonna take a look at this photo um, just to give you an idea. Um, it's just one that I had snapped um, back in the spring. My wife wanted me to take a picture of this. It's my wife's hand and a huge moth on one of our chairs. Um, but, because we wanted to show our kids, of course, because they love the creatures. Um, but anyway, so let's think about how photos look on a computer. And this is the same going to be the same for videos. Videos are just a bunch of photos strung together, right? And um, it's also going to be the same way things are projected onto a computer screen. Um, so, um, so let's think about a computer monitor because that's easy to look at. If we zoomed in very, 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 very closely to a computer monitor, this is actually what it looks like. Um, it is just red, green, and blue. So red, green, and blue. We have to think back to our elementary school days. Red, green, and blue are picked for a specific purpose. And I'm not an art major, but if you're an art major, you probably were like, I know where he's going with this. So red, green, and blue are primary colors. And if you mix them together in different intensities, um, they, give you they can give you all the colors um, that you would want. So the basic idea is that if we turn on or off or make these glow at different brightnesses, if we back up and zoom out, whoa, if we back up and zoom out, then that's going to give us different colors. And each sort of three of these makes one pixel. So you probably don't see pixels too much in your daily life, but you probably are aware of them much more when, um, if something's buffering on Netflix or something, and it's and you might say it looks pixelated. But really, if you zoom into any computer screen or any, any display, you're gonna see they're basically all made of just little tiny, tiny, tiny dots. And, um, and that's what a pixel is. Okay, so let's keep going. So now we know that. Now let's, think, let's simplify to one pixel. So each pixel is gonna have three values, right? We just talked about that, red, green, and blue. And we're gonna pick the values from zero to 255. And we'll talk about why 255. It seems like an arbitrary number, but I'll talk to you about why that is. Um, zero means no color at all. So no red if, if red is zero. And 255 means full color. Okay, so let's, let's, um, let's think about this. Um, and we're gonna um, write these on a discussion board too. So what values would make light green, dark green? What values would make white, black? And what values would make purple? So I really want you to test it, to think about it first. And then I want you to test it in one or two ways. And um, you could do it in another way too, if you have another program on your computer that can do this. Um, Students have done it multiple ways in the past. But what I wanna show you is the easy, easiest thing is really Microsoft Paint. So if we open up Microsoft Paint, um, and let me show you, let me get rid of this screen for now just to show you how I got there. Um, I'll bring it from my other monitor. So hold on just a second. So we'll go with this. We can do lots of stuff with Microsoft Paint, but really what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the color, okay? So we edit the color here. And we're really worried about this red, green, and black. So if I wanted a really red one, I would just type in um, 255 for red and then zero for green and blue. If I did 255 for that, and maybe I decided I just wanted a little bit of green in there, 
or actually we'll just do all green see what see what happens there so if you in art class if you rub red paint together with green paint together you get yellow right so um my kindergartners love a song i can't remember how it goes and i'm not definitely not going to sing to you guys but about um how red and green make yellow so i want you to try this out um to see what these colors are and then I basically i just want you to on the discussion board to uh post your results and then um come back and see the next uh activity <laughs> 